Yeah, actually it does miss him some... Oh no, it doesn't. So it miss some... some I know you saying put a lot of protein there, so I have done. Yeah, the more you use, the yeah. more you'll save the coat. Yeah. Because you want to save this. Good boy. Pardon? It's because of the new the new um, the new thing. Good. I was like, good morning. Hello, everyone. Dorino, what are my Dorino, my? Um, I'd like to put some blood in there. Should have actually some. Oh, what is this? Good boy. Hello, everyone. How's everyone? Welcome back to work. I tell that for my pussy children us. Right, so now we have a spaniel He's and hand shipping spaniel. He's got bunches. Pardon? He's got bunches. Yes, I like so I it doesn't cover the uh, going in my normally we should should put like um um this bed wrap yeah. on his ears. It keeps it much uh, uh, keep straight, it straight. straighter, but it doesn't matter. It keeps uh, it in does one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good to it's good to that, and also sometimes they use it for the tail also. You know. Um. Hey Tracy, how are you guys? How long do you leave it on? For? She leaves it on for days. What? The, the, the bed wrap. You can. Yeah. You can leave it as long as you want. Doesn't that doesn't that uncomfortable? For no, because it's not painful, so why should be uncomfortable? And also, protect the ear so it doesn't go in the water when they drink water. Oh, right. So it's really good. I need a bloody matter. Um, right, so I'm doing a spaniel, a hand shipping spaniel. I just demat him a little bit. Um, luckily that the owner, she's next to me and she's a lovely lady. Uh, they put with a sport and she does do a lot of stripping with him at home, so... I'm just basically tidying his jacket and it's more about the head. I put in the bath, I bathed him. Well, she bathed him for me. <laughs> um, like I said, he doesn't have a lot of, a lot of um, uh, hair, but if he will have a lot of hair, um, I will coat him a little bit with some conditioner on the jacket to take some thickness. And then I will have my bathroom comb. And my cardi knife. All the time you should have a cardi knife when you do a spaniel. It's very important. Cardi in the jacket and your uh, comb. And I have my stone. I can't groom without this spaniel. So I really love because I can't use my fingers. So I will use the stone. I really good. Uh, Speed has a little bit of... Uh, it's a, um, um, a dry shampoo. And because the dry shampoo has a little bit of chalk, so I use it because it doesn't give a lot of residence of the jacket. So it leaves a little bit of nice uh, grip on the jacket. Hello! Hello. Did I forgot to call you? Did I call you? I didn't, I didn't call you. Sorry. I forgot to call you. Sorry. It's for the... Yeah? yeah. Thank you. Sorry. Are you, are you waiting, waiting for me to come? I thought I called you. I was so relaxed because I think I, I, I thought I called you. Now, <laughs> I finished, uh, I did big job before and after, and, and I spoke with Stacy also. She's very excited to see them. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Did she, did she me back? Oh, bless, that's good. Was Ginny quivering wet? Pardon? Was Ginny quivering wet? She was such a big. Yes, but the hair was very long, so when I started to strip, it came like butter. Yeah. So it was really, actually, really good. <laughs> really? No, she was really good today. No, she was really good. Right, so what I do, I'll use a little bit of uh, uh, the banding comb all over to take some thickness. So I will expose, so what do you have to do? A lot of people, they don't realize, but you need to have three parts of the body. You, have, you should have shoulder, and then you have your skirt, and another, uh, another muscle, sorry. Muscle here, expose muscle here, and then you, can see, you should see the skirt. The skirt is always under the ribs, not uh, here or not here, it's under. So you can create that nice silhouette and you need to see the waist. So when I will go with my uh, 
or my bandy cob, I will go a little bit on the legs also to take some thickness and I will go to the back legs a little bit again to take some thickness and on the bum because they hate that. <laughs> By using speed gives me some, uh, some grip. I don't use chalk because I think chalk gives, uh, leaves too much uh, uh, chalk on, um, on, the, on the coat, so I prefer to use uh, the speed. It dries the coat. It dries the coat also, and this is just exactly the, the pinch that you need when you strip a spaniel coat. And also smells really nice, does it? it smells really nice, huh? Do you want me to put the, lower, the table a little lower? That's alright, no, it's okay. Is that enough? Uh, yes, that's really beautiful. Let me put the table below. I don't have. I can't, I can't okay, it's okay. Yeah. yeah. So I'll use my bandy comb. I bought this. Actually, this is my lovely, lovely girl uh, Hannah Ball. She made this for me. Uh, but Mike does it. Joe does it also. So Hannah Ball, Joe Silksmith, uh, Mike Wildman, all of them they do. Uh, Emma uh, Emma Ball. No, Emma. Yeah, Emma Ball and Hannah. Oh my God, I mixed their names. Fuck, I'm in big trouble. Um, so they do, they do this. They are really good for spaniels. Some people I heard they do. They use it for terriers also. I never use on terriers, so we'll see. Look at my bling bling in my nose. Uh, so I start also on the head. Shh. Hello. Can you please close that door, please, for me? The door. Yeah, sure. Lovely to see you, and I don't know if I will see you next time or not. But how are you? So you're not going with Stacey yet? No, I'm sorry. Okay. Well, you'll decide. Yeah. Lovely to see you. Bye. Is that all right? And I will text you the pictures. Yeah. See you soon. I love my customers. You won't forget that. Pardon? You won't text them. Like I know. I never text people. I always forget to bloody text. Hello, Adrian. Right. So, bandy comb you can use on the head as much as you can. Take the thickness. The more you take with your bandy comb and the more you take it with your with your cardi knives, the easier for you to strip the rest of the body. Yeah. Uh, if you use something else, if you use a, cut, a stripping knife, you'll ruin the coat and you break the coat. Yeah? So that's why you use this. Uh, can I have that door closed, please? Thank you very much. Uh, also, guys, if you... Um, a lot of people say, oh, you should use thumb and finger and thumb. Um, because now you have a lot of tools, that does exactly the same thing with the thumb and uh, finger and thumb. Why should I destroy my fingers if I can use this and does the same job? Where did you say the bandy comes was from? So Mike Wildman, um, Emma Ball, Emma Bull, sorry, Hannah Ball, uh, Joseph Smith. All of these guys they are spaniel uh, breeders and show people and they do them. Yeah. So you have choices. This is from uh, from Hannah, my lovely little bitch Hannah. Well, that's who she mentioned last night, Mike, Mike Wild. Yeah, Mike Wild. Mike. It's a it's a breeder. Yeah. It's a show person. It's a competitor. Yeah, she mentioned him last night. Yeah. Spaniels. He was in the Bloom Team England, Mike, um, in Spaniel class. I think twice. I think. So he knows everything about Spaniels. He's really good with Spaniels. So I will use also on the legs to take some thickness. Yeah. Hello, hello from bro, hello from England. Um, so I use like to take the thickness from from the legs. Also, we'll use the the banding comb. The dog is not in pain. Yeah. So this is the most important thing, and he's used to with stripping. Once I finish this, I will use my uh, my cardi knife. With the cardi knife, you don't start to cut. And then you go like crazy. Yeah, you do this part first and then this part and then this part and so on so on so you don't miss a part, yeah? Just come through. You're welcome, Alexandra. Right, so I will start all the time, I always start with the head, yeah? To take some thickness from the head. So we, you, when you strip, you strip in a, in a, in a, in a um, what's called? In a, not straight, what's called? In a, 
Not straight. Angle. In an angle, bloody angle. Uh, so you strip in an angle. You you cut in an angle. I will use a. You can use actually a stripping knife, but because the uh, the. Um, the carding knife is much longer, so you have more, um, um, God, I forgot the bloody names. Uh, you take more from the body, you know, you have more coverage instead of, you can use this, but it doesn't have a lot of coverage. So that's why you use, this is Artero, it's P336, uh, it's a carding knife, it's really good. Come on. Is that enough? Is that I will go and check. With the Spaniels, you have, uh, right, so, English, you, you hear the breed, it's English Coco Spaniel, yeah, it's not European and Coco Spaniel, so breed standard, they say, you should strip the top of the head, in Europe, they don't, in Europe, I know, they scissor the head, uh, in England, we are, we have to strip, uh, I prefer to strip the top of the head, because, I like the quality, that, the texture that I have on the head, I want the texture that I have here. If you start to scissor this head, you, you'll become really, really soft. So you have two different textures on your, on your Spaniel, yeah? And also, when you, you, when you strip, you don't need to take all the hair, so you have to have some padding on the head. A lot of people take all of it, you know, because especially when you scissor, you take all of it, so you have to have some padding on, on the head, you know, because it looks really pretty. I will cut also the, the face, the muzzle. See, it takes lots of lots of dead hair. Sometimes, or you can, uh, the whiskers, or you can uh, uh, scissor them with thin scissors, or sometimes when I brush, I just strip a little bit. If the dog allows me, I will do it. And he's really good because I stripped his whiskers since he was a puppy. And he's really good with that. And I've done it as well. And you've done it as well, exactly. So with the Spaniels, you have hand stripping, clipping, and scissoring. So you have three, uh, um, what's the word? Three, God. Um, types of techniques. Type of techniques, yes, yes. Now, like hands, like when you do a terrier, you have to hand strip everything without any help. The only part that I will actually clip on a spa, on a fox terrier will be his hygienic area. I do, I'm not so cruel to do that. But with spaniels, you can use your clippers, you can use your uh, stripping uh, technique, and then also your scissoring technique on the legs. Yeah. Uh, what I notice a lot in Europe uh, that now they do. With the skirt, they go into the tuck up and then go back into the chest and uh, into the down in the chest to do like a round um, shape and I really love that. In England, the straight, the skirt is really straight. Come on, Baba. Um, so I prefer the European, uh, it gives more flair, you know, so I do like flair on the, on the dogs. Because all the dogs that you groom, they should be elegant. Look how much I take by coking in. So that I mean, when I start to strip with a stone, I don't need to take a lot. I use a very good powerful dryer, so I don't need, don't need to use my straighteners. I see all this thickness, this has to come with the, with the stripping. Oh, thank you, babe. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Come on, Baba. Um, when in the bath, when you when you put conditioner in the bath on the dog and they use it with a coking, um, you should bath the dog back, and um, you can leave the conditioner on the legs, not on the jacket, because your jacket needs to be crispy, yeah, so you can strip it a little bit, you know. So um, don't leave conditioner on the jacket, but you can leave the conditioner on the ears and you can leave the conditioner on the legs, yeah. Because you scissor them anyway, so you don't strip them. And also this, uh, Artero, they don't have this, but this is what I, so after condition, strip with the coking, rinse it very well, rewash it with shampoo, and then, um, and then, um, um, right, rewash him 
with the shampoo and then rinse it and one side dry the coat and it's a little bit dry I will use this is from pure pour it's texturizers foam it's like a foam it's really nice uh, and give some crisp on the coat and I use it for my competition dogs for show dogs uh, um, or Pauline's dogs, you know, I, this is hers, I have one also. It's really, really good. So it's texture as a mineral foam from Pure Paw. I think, to be honest, I'm not sure exactly, to be honest, if it's exactly uh, natural, thin and texture. He might be actually, let me see, similar to Artero Zoom. I never actually tried that actually, let me see the texture. I think it does the same job as the speed. It might do. On the on your hand, it's actually the same. Actually, now I didn't think it actually does the same thing that Zoom does from Artero. Yeah. It's texturizer. So. If you can't find this one, uh, from this is from Pure Paw, you can buy Zoom. Zoom I will use for legs, I will use for everything, uh, to give texture and thickness. I'm such a bloody idiot, actually. See? But because I always use this, because Zoom, they didn't have Zoom before, I always assume that actually they do two different uh, um, uh, products. Actually, they are the same bloody products. And with Zoom, I will use I will use one of my my fox areas before I compete. Like in the morning when I bath them, I will use Zoom on the legs to give them thickness texture. So this what this does also the same. So if you can't find this, definitely is the same thing as as Zoom. Do you bath the dog in the same day? You will strip. Yes, yes, yes. I always bath the dogs in the same day. Like he's just be bath. Um, I think people they like think like oh my god uh, if I strip the dog would be have skin problems like that. That was I think was like twenty years ago, thirty years ago when you didn't have products based on natural oils. Uh, so Artero, I use Artero Relax and it's an hypoallergenic shampoo. It's based on natural oils and it doesn't. It's, it's very soft. It's very mild with the with the skin. You know. So I all all my fox terriers, every terriers that I, I always strip a little bit, bath him and then restrip him. Yeah, so all my dogs need to be clean, uh, especially Spaniels, I have to be clean, my Spaniels need to be clean before I start to strip. Yeah, so that, so they are bath. So yeah, so you can use, so once, uh, let's go back to the bath area, so once, once I uh, bath the Spaniel after I, I coking with the conditioner, I will use now, because I just open my eyes, now I will use the Zoom, um, and you put on the jacket, and you can, if you only can put it on, on the legs, but I used to use it just on the jacket and give the crispness that you need when you strip and also gives you the uh, the thickness a little bit, you know? Because sometimes they're really, really uh, silky and you can't strip anything, uh, so you don't want to bro break the coat, so you need to give them a little bit of grip, yeah? Uh, but that's why I really love Speed, because it doesn't have a lot of, lots of powder, you know? Yeah, right. Pardon? Dries the coat there. Yeah, yeah, it does dry the coat, so you have actually need to rewash him after that, you know, so that's why you use just on the jacket. So you see, in England, they want the skirt from the back leg into the skirt will be a straight line. In Europe, they create, in the tuck up, they create, they lift a little bit from the tuck up and then go into the skirt. I do prefer that. I think it looks more, more elegant. Um, let's go with the strip. I will go with the strip with the carding. So I will go and I will straight line down, follow the shape of the of the ribs, and then on the back leg. Um, some people they like uh, they do like to have uh, um, like pulling. She likes some thinness on the on the tail. I prefer my spaniel doesn't have any hair here, so I will strip the top of the of the tail, but I will scissor all of this here. I hate this, but Pauline likes it, so she's the boss. So I'll do what um, the boss says. It can be straight, you know. Are you sure? Not not curly, but okay. 
so I can strip some of it, actually. You're more than one, Cosmina. Cosmina, Costin, matching. Because she works a lot with him at home, he doesn't have a lot, but look, still how much hair I take. Yeah? You can use uh, some uh, condoms, finger condoms, for better grip. Yeah? It's really, they're really good. You now gives now more texture. Not condoms, fingers condoms. So naughty everyone over there, thinking of something else. Look, Paulina, why are you laughing? Naughty girl. Really naughty girl. I got. I always forget about this. Alright, so what I have my fingers condoms. Hmm? Yeah. I will have my beautiful stone. Oh, it's Emma Bull here. She's watching me bull. Actually, guys, let me tell you, I uh, you know. You learn from people and then you explain to other people, you know? So, I actually learned doing a Spaniels because, you know, I really hate doing Spaniels. I, I can't stand Spaniels till this year when I found this and then made me... So, Emma, she used to do my dog all the time and then Hannah. And I really learned a lot from, from, from Emma and Hannah. I learned so much from them too. I've been also to Michael a seminar like a couple of years ago. But my bitches are Emma and Hannah. Yeah. So now she's watching me. The teacher is watching me. So if I do something wrong, bitch, tell me in private. <laughs> right. So I would like to expose the muscle. Yeah, because you need to have nice and also to create a nice neck. Yeah. So we we'll have to take all of this to have a nice, elegant neck. Yeah. Hi, this. Hello, hello from Colombia. Uh, only because I'm. Oh, little bitch. She's on. Right, so I will use. So when I, this actually is just like fine coat, yeah? So I will use my thumb. But if I'm lazy. Um, so when you strip with a, with a stone, but like basically, I pull and it's like full hair. It's actually how you keep hold the stripping knife. But look how much hair. Really, I really, I start to love doing spaniels now just because of this bloody stone. They are, uh, I used to have a different stone, but I didn't feel that it took a lot. I think this Artero one has really nice grip. Uh, right, so my sister from Romania, she wants me to speak in Romanian. Bitch, I'm in England. I can't speak Romanian. Talk to me about the front leg. On the spaniels, I'm sure the leg has got more tube leg than the... right. So, like everyone knows, normally breed standard is say uh, the the front of the leg you should see bone. Um, in Europe, you see bone everywhere, so you have to expose the bone. Yeah, sorry. Um, and I think Mike starts to do tube legs on spaniels when he starts to compete. So then everyone starts to copy him. Um, yeah, so his legs, they are more, more tube than, uh, than bone. So basically what you should do, if you want bone, you should like take really, really short around this area here to expose the bone and you should have just in the back, you should have feathers. But I do prefer the tube leg more than the, than the, than the bone leg. But the correct and breed standard, even in New England, they should not uh, put you to that point, uh, a, a good uh, judge, they know that breast standard should be have bone, but I don't know. Uh, so yeah, I thought so. I'm seeing more. Yeah, he's more tube legs because this is more like the new style that they have now in Europe, in, in England. But I do, I do prefer more the tube legs. I find that it's more elegant. Uh, but in Europe, you'll never see a spaniel with tube legs ever. You will always see bone, exposing bone all the time. Yeah, I'm more tube legs. Uh, yeah, Emma. Uh, uh, I like my rain leg mid middle. Yeah, middle. I don't know actually if you compete in Europe. I don't know if they will uh, 
if they will if you lose points if you do two legs actually i i know i don't know if uh, if emma ever compete in europe i know hannah compete in europe i don't know if you lose points if you do two legs um, I will start to do Spaniel, so I will go to Europe, uh, of course, to do Spaniels. But I will, I will, I will tell you if, and I will ask the judge if I lose points if I have two legs. You know, um, I think you should not lose points just because you know styles change all the time. You know, before you have the straight line the coat, now they do this nice uh, tuck up into the skirt. You know, so I think they should not lose points, in my opinion. You know, but we will see. We will see. Love you, baby girl. Love you lots. Anita, Anita. Dime, por favor. Ce înseamnă rasă, mate, în engleză? Ce înseamnă rasă? Rasă. A ce înseamnă rasă, măti? <laughs> Stubby and rude, bitch. Uh, hello, YouTube dog. Hello, bitch. Right. Uh, my this is my friend Anna. She we grew up together, and she's a little bit bitchy with me now because I don't speak uh, English, a uh, Romanian. But I'm in England, so you have to learn English, darling. <laughs> right. So, like I said, we saw about the tube leg. Yeah. I will start to do. Hola. Do you want the Do you want the this? No. no. Are you right? Yes. So I will start to do the 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 neck. I think I've done this. Time. I see. You know. Uh, I see lots of people also using thinning scissors on the sh on the shoulder, and I know I see lots of famous uh, people that are using thinning scissors on the shoulders. Uh, and then I see lots of people they say they l you lose points if you scissor the chest. I think you can do it once, but not. not yeah, you can do it once, but or tie it a little bit, but not all the time. So this needs to come off all of this. You see, because it's really thick. And look, it's really really good. I really love this stone. It's an amazing tool, and you can use it actually for spanning. If if you don't know how to use a, a stripping knife and you are scared not to break the coat, you actually can use a stone. I know a lot of people are using the stone. I don't like using a stone on a span on a, a terrier, um, but you can use it as a beginner. You will not break. It's impossible to break the coat. So when you do the head, brush down and then take the thickness, just, I will try to take just this part here and I'm trying to leave some um, um, padding on the top of the head. You know exactly how you do like an American cocker when you take really short here and you leave just this part here. If I'm wrong, Emma and Hannah might tell me off. I do like to use, uh, this is uh, so for Martero, it's a texturizing comb, a volume comb. So I really like because it's really, really fine. So I do like this comb, it's really nice. That's not my dog. Why? No. Uh, but the only part that you have to clip is the chest. Well, depends. You can scissor here, but it's all the, 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 the throat and also on the ear. So I normally do like three fingers from the ear, or when you have a dog. Well, standing a little bit. It's basically, but his ears they are really set very, very low compared. Because it should be in the line. With the with the with the muzzle, yeah. So you should be in line with the muzzle where you stop. So it's actually three fingers, yeah. So this is where actually I stop with my with my clipping. So I will have my beautiful trimmer, Spectra. Ah. Come on. Can you hold it for me, please? Yeah. Can you hold it like this, please? Thank you. If it's a pet, I will clip all inside, right to, down to the leather. Uh, if it's like a show dog, I will stop exactly where I have my fingers, yeah? So I will expose just the, can uh, the canal. It's a show dog. Yeah, so it's a show dog, so I will stop at the canal. I 
I will use a blade 40, no, 30. So spectra come with the four, uh, four different uh, sizes, yeah? So I always normally use just one and four. One is like blade 30, and then I will use the four for like for hygienic care, whereas uh, it's a blade 10. Pardon? I thought we used blade 10 on this. For pets, yeah. yeah oh, wow. For pets, I will use blade 10. I don't go short inside of the ears, shorter than, than 10. But if it's a show dog, I will use a blade 30. The shorter, the better. No, it doesn't. You have to obey. Like, like right. We see this is a problem. When you have a dog that you do the ears, you do a, a dog. When you do the dog's face, so you do the ears. Anything that you do, you have to work with the head. You always have to have the dog standing up because it changes the shape of the head. Yeah. And also, you have to have someone to hold it properly. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. This comb is really good, actually. It's really, really good. Right, so Pauline, when you, when you show a dog, you have to sh show, so grab from here, mm -hmm. yeah, and keep the hair straight, as straight as you can. Thank you very much. Not here, thank you. So again, follow the shape of your, of your, your of your uh, buzzer, uh, yeah? It's in the line there, there where you stop with your clipping, or, Three fingers from the base, from the top of the ear. This is what I do. And it does actually go the same thing. Uh, with the ear, long wise, you should be in, the, in a line with the point of the shoulder. Or some people, they do like this. And then everything that's about, uh, in front of the nose will be cut. I do it with the shoulder. As a, if I have a pet, I will go actually really close to the leather, you know, because people, they don't brush their dogs, so it's no point for me to keep it as long. But Pauline really won't brush him, so I will do as a show dog. Is it two o'clock already? Bloody hell! Right, then I will change maybe with the number two on the, and I will do the throat. So where is the uh, sh uh, shoulder point? Yeah, I will take all of that. On the bottom of the, of the, of the chin, I will use my thinning scissors. Because if you use here, if you use uh, um, clippers, you will lose the texture. Stop it. The only part where I use clippers is where here a lot of spaniels they get infected. So I will take my clipper and I will reverse it right into this pocket here. You can see, I don't know, you can see, but it's already really red here. So all my spaniels, I do this pocket here. And also sometimes it smells. Right. And now I will clip all of this. This is a I, this is like a blade fifteen. You can use your th uh, uh, um, thinners and then you blend where you have your clippers. Yes? The arse is shorter, but we can't go shorter than blade 10. No, go blade 10. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Come on, guys. 
I have a really fine uh, thinning scissor and I will blend where I clipped because you can strip but it's not the same thing. You only have to stuck your head. I always do, I always sometimes scissor and then strip so you still keep the, the quality of the coat. If you use clippers all the time, the coat will become softer and softer. But if you just scissor a little bit and then strip in the same time, I never have problems, I always back, give back the same quality of the, of the coat. I've got a nice pretty really nice head and you can use your thumb and you can take all of this hair here look how much hair it has here look. I never ever ever clip this part here I will use my thumb or I will use uh, you use your stone reverse you use a cardi knife. Oh, a cardi knife, yeah. But look how much, look how much hair comes mm. just from the bottom of the nose. Yeah. So this is a, like a homework. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Back to the neck. Come on. Can you hold him like this, please, on me? Yeah. Thank you. You always you use a comb, or also sometimes I use a brush, like a soft pin brush. This is like a, I think this is like a um, um, pork hair. It's quite toughish, you know. So. If you don't want to use your comb, you use your brush and it works really nicely because also the, the coat uh, uh, lays really nice. Mm -hmm. It's a silky coat, so you have to be careful what you use on this coat. Spaniels, like every single other dog, has angulation, yeah? So it's very, very important to create a nice angulation and a nice shape on your Spaniels. The more you expose the muscle, the, the more you leave your skirt a little bit lower below your, 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 your ribs, the more you show your angulation, the more you show your, your tuck up on, on your skirt, the better uh, um, um, style and shape you'll have. And the dog will look stunning. Yeah? You can have a nice finishing on your dog, but if he has no shape, what's the point, you know? So, if, when I judge, when I am asked to be judged, and I know because I can't be a hypocrite, you know, I can't just say like, oh my god, two and a half hours, do this dog, and if you have a nice shape, I prefer to see the shape than to see the, the finishing touch, you know? Because I know how hard it is to compete, you know, and I know how stressful it is to compete, so I can't be a hypocrite and not think of, I always put myself in, in the competitor uh, shoes, yeah? I'm not... I never forget what I where I come from, you know. So I I judge how I like to be judged. This is the hardest part. So the the, the neck and and the bum is the hardest part to strip. You know, by having this, I'm telling you guys, it's life-changing. Like, really, really, really. 
I have a different uh, stone from a different company and I don't like it. It doesn't really do a lot to me. But again, um, it doesn't work for me, but I know other, a lot of people using that stone and they're brilliant for them, you know. I will never ever, I learn my lesson, you know. I will never if the whole summons in the front. Um, you can come inside if you like. If I don't like a product, I don't like it because now it works for me, yeah? So, but I will never go on Facebook or everywhere and say like, oh my God, I don't like that product. It's a shit product because it's not a shit product because there are people that make that product put effort and, 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 and salt in that product, you know? So who I am to say that that product is not working just because it's not work for me, yeah? So you'll never ever see me ever doing like, oh, I don't like the product or I don't like the shampoo. It's not working for me, it's not working for me and this is it. Kids, I can't stand sparking. Hey, 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 hey. Right. We'll strip a little bit. So you can see from the shoulder, if you follow with the shape of your finger, you see it goes down into the, into the, into the leg. So this is actually your, your angulation. This is what you have to expose. By leaving the skirt here, the, the chest, because it's going to the skirt. And everything that's here, we'll use the thin scissor and we'll take everything. Perfect. It's always, I have, like I said, I have mirrors. I have mirror here, so I can see the leg. And I have mirrors on, on the other side, so I can see the other side. Mirrors that are really important in your salon. I will start with my dog. <laughs> I know my dog is here already, no? Yeah. Two o'clock, I know. I forgot I have a dog at two o'clock. He's really heavy. Look at Oh, I can have that one, please. Which one? The lab. This is the one. Huh? This is the one. Oh, it's mine. Look at this. Oh, oh, God, who's barking? Shut hey, up. Hey, hey. No. Oh, the bark is so nice. Oh, good. If Lori can put him in a bath, and then Pauline can wash it for me. <laughs> Yeah, so by lifting the head, and you can I don't know if you can see like this. Is it better like this? I don't know. And also when I go, when I go with my thinning scissors, I go right down. Where... I can see the nail. Some people, when they do, when they do spaniels, um, they expose the nails. I don't. I prefer to be like a cat foot. Oh my god! Sorry, guys. Hey, shut up. Thank you. Hey, Lori. Can you take this away from me, please? Just a little bit. Thank you. Of course, Shih Tzu. Of course, Shih Tzu needs to go. So I prefer. To not expose the nails, I like to be more elegant and I like to hide the nails, you know. Um, so when I go, what are my beautiful curves? So I'll find where the nail, because I want to be as close as possible to the nail without exposing it. Good boy. I did do some more. Good. Study, please. Do you, do you fill this bit or not leave it? Uh, I will, yes. Oh, awesome. So when I and so when I do my ch when I do my chest when I do my chest with the thin scissors, I go straight down because I know the nail is here, right into the nail, straight down. A lot of people they strip the the, the feet. You can strip it if you want the the thickness here, but I you scissor the rest, yeah. So the stone that I use, I just, sorry, I just received a message. This is Artero. Um, I have a different, I, I don't know I want to show you. I have another one that I use, but I find it that uh, it's very, um, very fine stripping stone. And I feel like when I grab it, it doesn't actually grab nothing. It's a good stone. But when I grab it, uh, this has more open pores, you see, it's much thicker. Uh, so when I grab it, it actually really pulls nice. The other one that I have, um, 
I bought also for Spaniels, um, is the, the pores here, they're more fine, so it grows but not a lot. When, uh, when one or with your fox terriers. So my fox terriers, they're bloody hairy, and I have to strip them uh, hopefully next week, maybe. So I'll do, I'll do a video with my next week. Pardon? I love that stone too. It's, it's, really, it's really good. I really love it. Yeah, so this is Artero. So all the products that I use, they are Artero. So if you look here, nice shoulder, nice angulation down to the, to the nails. So this is what you want to create, yeah? Uh, then I will go with the head holes again. You have to have padded hair. So short from the corner of the eye, right to the back of the ear, you should be a short, nice and tight. And then you should have a little bit of padding on the, on the head. That you can do also, you can do, you see this in an American cockers, you know. But I can, I strip the head. Don't scissor the head, strip the head. Oh, Hannah is there. Hello, bitch. This is my little, little girl. I love her. Like I said before, I learned from her and from Emma. They are my, my teachers in uh, Spaniels. And I was just, uh, um, uh, just become ambassador for, for Colin Taylor. So congratulations. And you know, everyone knows she was a pooch perfect competitor. Uh, yeah, I love the stone. Yes. I don't know how to spell your name. Is Harv Is it Harvey? I think in English is Harvey. I don't know how to spell your name, sorry. It's, it's uh, French. H-E-R-V-E. -E. Oh, I don't know. I, don't know. I might spell it wrong, but... Right, so once I finish with the head and I finish the shoulder, I might do the feet. Again, this I learned also for Hannah because I... Oh, you can be nice. Oh, <laughs> love you, bitch. Um, again, I learned this from Hannah, some ideas, you know, when you do the feet, you know, to do them like a cat feet. Uh, if your feet is really, really tiny, leave more thickness. If the dog, uh, if the feet is really, really big, the pad, the paw, uh, take it quite short, yeah? So I try to lift the hair from the floor. You know, people say how, like a cat fit. Look at the, uh, this is what I do sometimes. I go and I, so people say, oh, it looks like this animal or like that animal, you know? So I go and, uh, and I go and I look, I was, I have, my uncle has a cat. So I was like, let me see what people say cat fit. So I look at the cat and the cat fit is really nice and tight and really, really elegant, you know? And you can't see the nails and it's really, really fluffy and puffy, you know? So this is what I try to create, a nice, tight, elegant fit without exposing the nails if it's too thick instead to use uh, to use scissors I go I lift the hair and I take some thickness it's quite thick around the back yeah I'm never sure how much thickness to take on this bit. And oh, this is nice. You don't want to take too much. I've, I've done a bit. Yeah, that's good. It's really hard because you can't really see it. Oh, Harvey in Great Britain. Okay, Harvey. Nice to meet you, Harvey. Like again, I always look in the mirror. Your dog should, should be up on the toes, yeah? Should be stuck properly. Is this special scissor? Is it this? Um, no, it's just a normal curved scissor or a normal thinning scissor. I like the things that to be quite long also, like seven and a half inch. I can't work with small scissors. 
they might want to know the blade um, and how, how thin or thick the, the thinnings are. So they are quite thin anyway. What? I was uh, trying to tell you if you can do my, uh, I will do your dog. Can you do box things like for the phone or more? Yes. Yeah. Well, but you can't just put two here. I've got no idea how to. I tried, but it looks like. Um, can I ask one of the girls? They got the things to do. Mom? She's washing the dog. I'm gonna wash yours now. Uh. Pauline can wash mine. Would you wash mine, though, Pauline? Yeah, sure. Thank so you. So who's gonna do that then? For the. Bring the dog here. Need to do the bloody. Yes. Is this going to be on Facebook? Or it's on Facebook, Ali. I can watch it again. Yeah, you can watch it again. The only thing I can do is this eyebrows. Can So when you do, when you do like um, a carry blue leg. You know, again, you can lift the hair from the floor to create a nice, really elegant fit. Right, what do you want me to do? Give me some bands, come back. Where's the dog? There. Come here, Baba. Come on. Hello. So what you do, you just take this, hold this here like this. No, this. Wow. Corner the eye to the other corner of the eye. You can call for him if you want. Should I put it? He's booked for three hours. Okay, let it go on there. Go, go, go. Go, 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 This way, this way, this way. Right. The head. When you do the ear, like I said, it's a point the shoulder, or you can do like this, and everything that sticks out into the nose, out of the nose, you can cut. And if you think, so, is he right? So what I cut here, will go exactly in a point shoulder, yeah? Turn my straight scissors. Because I used to leave the ears very long and I ask, uh, I think I asked Hannah and she told me. And then what I do, I just take the corners and I create a round shape. Which makes sure you get the two sides matching. Yeah. It's important not to have the both sides matching if you follow the shape and the... See, that looks better, doesn't it? Than yeah. Thing. What she said last night. This is a really nice curve. This is a this is magnum, arterial magnum curve. So this actually, this is a new. So I, before I used I used to know I didn't know nothing about arterial. I bought my first magnum. I, this is my I have them for eight years in my salon. Eight years I use them every single day. I didn't know nothing about arterial in that time. So that's why that. So this is my first actually. This is the magnum, and you can see the difference in bending. The uh, this is the old magnum, and this is the new magnum. You can see the this how bend is now the new one compared with the old one. So of course I prefer the more banded. If you've got a lot of money, you can buy the Upsumi. Pardon? If you've got a lot of money, you can buy the Upsumi. Yeah, but just, this is as people, you know, the Upsumi, it's a nice scissors, they're nice, but it's what feels, uh, these are things like a hundred something, and they're absolutely amazing. Yeah, I have a very expensive scissors that I never use, different brands. Um, so again, it's preference. If you want to buy a scissor, go and try it. Feel it in your hand. Work with it a little bit. You know, the, for me personally, the, the lighter it is, the better it's for me because I don't, have, I don't like to work with heavy scissors because I have a heavy hand also. So I don't want to destroy my hand, you know. So I, uh, Magnum is really, really light. So I like, uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, some would tell me I heard that it would be heavy, too, you know. Too expensive. Well, but they're good quality, uh, still, by then. I like... Hey, hey, hey! You can buy our arrows, Meg. Who's barking? Shut up! Yeah, but they're good quality. 
can buy our chair of Magnum the same, you know, for a much cheaper. Yeah, it's preference. Isn't it? It's all his preference. It's before I used Artero, I used to use, uh, and I still love them, I still have, I used to use Nikontos scissors, uh, power and work, amazing scissors, you know, and now I use Artero. Yeah, I've got P&W, yeah. Yeah, they're good, they're very good. Yeah, exactly, they're good scissors. There are lots of good brand scissors, you know. So the feet is almost done, trying to lift all the hair on the floor to create that nice tight cat feet. He has quite tight, uh, quite small pads, so uh, um, I try to leave a little bit thicker. But again, I don't expose his nail, yeah? Really nice. You find where is the, where is the, the chest, take it out and you can take some to create more angulation. Hiya! How are you? Uh, Aaron, can you go one second? Can you go one second in the front, please? Therefore, uh, therefore, them too. Yeah? Thank you, babe. So it's like pick up and drop off now. Uh, right, sorry. Hi, uh, hi, Elaine. Hi, Don. Lovely to see you guys. Well, I was on holiday, so now back to work. Hello. I just found out that my manager that deals with all my all my accounting, my payroll, everything resigned. So now I have to do all that shit all by myself. Like I, you know, I have a shop also in the front. That I sell leads, calls, blah blah. I have to do it all by myself now. I'm like, oh my god. Mm. Yeah, and I'm thinking to open the grooming school in two weeks' time. So, mm, yeah, luckily that I, I was on holiday, so I'm, I'm full of energy. Do you need another holiday? Yeah, I do need another holiday. Right, back leg. Again, back leg, you should have, and then we'll go back to the skirt, and then I have to close the, uh, um, the light because I have to the other side, and I have another dog to groom. Right, back leg. If you, you see this leg here, doesn't have any shape, yeah, because it's quite thick, yeah, and I would like to create a nice, lovely angulation. Again, when you look at the skirt, the skirt, all of this hair here is too much, so I have to take all of this hair. Also, I always go into the tuck up because I like to, by leave this hair on the tuck up, when you look at the dog, when you put the dog on the floor and you look down, you will see like it looks like fat. So by taking the angle, by taking his hair here, you create a waist on the dog, yeah? So it's very, very important giving your dog a shape. This, are they too small for me? How far down do you go for? I'll show you. I bought a small size and it actually stopped my bloody blood in my vein. Not a size small anymore. I used to be. Not anymore. The older you get, the bigger you go. You look good. Oh, thank you. Right. So with the tuck up, you see, I go exactly where under the ribs. Yeah. So you expose all of this, and then you leave this. You see, it goes under the ribs. You see. So this I will leave here. Yeah. But I will take all of this hair that sticks here. This has to go. You can use a little bit of speed. Doesn't it give shape though if leaving it? Pardon? Doesn't it give shape leaving it? If you leave it, doesn't it give shape? No, it makes the dog really fat. Is it? So how, how much do you take off? Pardon? How much do you take off? What? Well, here, I'll take all of it. All of it? All of this hair, it should not be here. And you see the difference. The difference is, once I take all this hair, 
you will have a nice when you look on the floor you can see the shape of the of the ribs and the skull will go down straight Tell you guys, this is look bloody amazing. I really, really love this stone. It's a, such a good product. Now I actually enjoy stripping spaniels. Doesn't matter what products you use, what tools you use, if you have a nice quality texture and you do the same stuff that you, instead of use your thing, uh, instead of use your, your fingers uh, and use products and tools, uh, I always say it doesn't matter what the finishing touch looks like, if you have the correct, uh, um, Correct finish, basically. Like you don't break the coat, you know. So I, I know a lot of people they use uh, thumb and thumb fingers. I will use this, but I'll have the same tech quality uh, on finishing. The same, like like you use uh, your thumb, you know, because this doesn't actually break at all. And also, when you strip, like I said, you strip exactly how you strip with your with your with your fox terriers. The, yeah, yeah. You block this and you block this. This is your movement. If you start to do this, or if you start to do this, in two years you'll have carpal tunnel. No, 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 no. Huh? No, 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 no. Yeah. No, no, no. So you have to protect your hands. No, no, no. This craves money. If this is broke, find a new job. Mine's not from grooming. Yeah. It's from something else, is it? Yeah, something else. <laughs> <laughs> Please. You already can see that's under the ribs, really, really nice. I don't know if you can see. You can see uh, muscle, skirt, and then I will strip all of this here again, and then you can see another muscle. I will go where actually where's the, where you find the hook. I will go and I will leave this hair here and I will leave this hair here but all of here I will take really short I've done that on the other side Pardon? I've done that on the other side Good, good I don't know how many of you are from Wales but I will be on the 5th of December I will be in Wales I've been once or twice there, it's really pretty. So I was invited to do a seminar over there. So I will be there after the grooming conference in November from Colin. I will be in Wales. Is it Welsh? What do you say? Welsh? How do you say? Colin. How do you say the country? Well, Welsh? Wales. 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 And they're Welsh. Welsh. People of Welsh. I go, I will see the people of Wales. No, Wales. Oh shoot, uh, Sharon, it's life. Why are you live? I thought you don't have time for, for Facebook, never. <laughs> I will just catch you. Sharon, it's one of my good, 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 good friends. She's part of Groom Team England and she, her breed is Carrie Blue. She shows uh, Carrie's and uh, she's in uh, Groom Team England with Carrie. She is amazing. Oh, love her. I love Kerry Blues. Uh, yeah. Well done. Right. She sounds really good. See, I exposed all this muscle. It looks really nice. And then you can see the difference. There's no a straight line. You can see muscle, skirt and muscle. This is what you want to do. Some people, they scissor this part. Some people, they strip this part. Uh, oh, you are so lucky that I'm live because I will, I will call you later, bitch. <laughs> she said we're not friends, we're enemies. <laughs> so I, again, I have my scissor. 
and then at the same time I will strip. I can see that. Yeah, yeah, it looks really nice. So on the back of the of the bum. You have to expose the rosettes. So where's the rosette? So I expose half of the rosette and the other half goes into the into the skirt and the back leg. Wait, 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 wait. Good girl, boy. Did I not turn up? No, it's good. Really good. They do, normally, other Spaniards they don't like when you do when you do the back end. I don't blame them actually. He doesn't know. Look beautiful. I have to uh, to go now. Watch late. Okay, my love. Love you. Love you. Love it. Love you lots. So in a Spaniards, you have to have this hair that covers the balls. Yeah. So this hair is very important here. So I will thin all of this. So you see, where is the rosette here? Because you have two rosettes here. This rosette, I will expose half, and then the half it comes with the hair, and I will put this hair in the back here. And then all the like a palm, where you expose all of this. And what I do, I will start back first with my feet. Again, back feet should be uh, a cat feet, and also back feet, you should have a, the the hook is the hook is set low, so it's padded. You know, it's not like when you have a schnauzer, the hook is here. Yeah, with with spaniels and other terriers, they have a set low hook, so it should be really just padded. Yeah, so you don't need a lot of hair. And for a fox terrier, it's possible to do the same. Uh, si scissor before stripping on the, the dog. Right, with the fox terriers, I never ever use scissors, just if it's a pet. If you have a dog that's your dog and you want to show, and you have to grooming competition, you never ever 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 touch scissors, ever. Yeah? I will show you how to do a pet with scissors, and I will show you how to do uh, also with scissors, and also you to keep the quality of the texture, and the texture of the coat, but also proper with, with just fingers and, 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 um, and tools, yeah? But I never use all my prop, my fox terriers, they, will, they never see scissoring. They used to, but once I had my amazing uh, handler, Tony Ragu, he t taught me a lot, a lot about fox terriers, and he, I, he never ever touched uh, scissors. And also the quality change if you see scissors. The coat becomes much softer, yeah? Right, so, back to the Spaniel. So the hook is set low, yeah, it's a padded hook. Hook, hook. Hook. Bloody hook. 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 Right. So I always start with the back, and then keep my scissor up, and take all the hook down. Again, I go back close to the nails, without exposing the nails. Very good. I really don't like to see nails on spaniels. No, I don't either. Oh, it was my, my hand. Because they're not cats. Yes. But even the cats, you don't see nails on cats. No. If they're just, if they have long, hair, long nails. So what I do, I go create a, creating a wall from the back, lifting all the hair up. And then when you have the, the you know when you have a dog and you have the, the two uh, long nails, the, the front two nails, I'm trying to go quite short on that area and then go back into the feet without exposing that, you know? So this is how you create your, your shape, you know? So go from the back and I go up on the nails, yeah? Without show, expose them and then go back into the back of the, of the tail, of the feet.
I try not, uh, especially if I'm in a competition, I'm trying not to use a lot of scissor spray just because a uh, crate uh, makes the coat a little bit curly. Uh, but when I do the hook, I will use a, a static spray. It a, it's a, holds the coat really nice. So I will take the hook, spray a little bit, and it look, it does hold. Can you hold it like, like this on that side? Like what? So brush, find the half of the feet, yeah, and I brush up, and I will cut everything in an angle. Right, here, to create the angulation, what do you know? You, I take my thinning scissor, I follow the shape of the leg, yeah? You can feel the bone. So what I do, I have this head, I'll put in the back, and the rest, I will just pad it. So I take the thickness, and then when I found the hook, I go out from the hook, and then I'll go in a corner of this leg. By exposing that, you create your angulation. If I have to use properly, maybe I will use some strainers to, cr to make this head really, really straight down. And you can see already, by pulling it in the back, you can see, I can see already in the video, in angulation. By taking this hair from the back of the leg, yeah? Something that I still learn is how to do the skirt European style, not English style, because I really prefer, I prefer everything Euro, uh, English, but the skirt I prefer like uh, how they do in Europe. Hello Petra, love you. What's the difference? So the English style, it's a straight line. Oh, European, you go into the tuck up and then create that nice shape, round shape. And I prefer, really, really love that. I do that on transcript. Yeah? Kitty does it, no? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just the curve style. Yeah, I prefer the curve style. I think it gives more flair on the dog if you do that uh, European style um, with a curve, with a, um, with a skirt. The shape changed completely, in my opinion. But again, I don't think it's uh, wrong or right. So if you do like a European style, I don't think it's uh, wrong. Or uh, if you do an English style, I don't think it's wrong again or right. You know, I think it's preference also. Which style you prefer? Like when you do Bagginton, some people they leave the back of the head like looks like, like an alien. An English style is more shorter. So again, it's, I don't know if it's wrong or right. But again, I prefer the European style. Mm. Uh, in the end of the day, you know, it's a competition. It's a show. Uh, it's a competition for dogs, for grooming-wise. So the more extremities, I think, the better looks. Mm. By also by following the breed standard. You can't mix them, so you can't have one bit. Yeah, if it's a show, it's different. No, because they, they in the show they look for just for construction and like that. But in a grooming competition, it's called grooming competition, so you should have nice, flair, elegant, yeah. pretty dogs, yeah? You wouldn't mix both styles, though, you wouldn't... What do you mean? Like, you wouldn't mix the European style. Yeah, I do, one. because uh, um, European style is like the old English style, where you have to show a le uh, um, bone, but now in England you do tube legs, so I will have a tube leg spa with a European skirt. Well, also, you can still... Yeah. Oh, it's good. It might have been more um, rigid than that. No, no, no. I like the tube legs. Yeah, I like the tube legs. 
I feel like, again, I feel like it's more, more elegant on the dog. But some like judges don't like it because it's not my standard. They look like working coppers if you have bone legs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to tidy and to create a nice shape on the, on the back leg. If you actually think this style of the of the curl, of the uh, the style of a spaniel, you can actually apply. It's the same style when you do a westy. It's exactly the same. Sh uh, muscle skirt under the ribs, muscle angulation in the back, angulation in the front, two legs. It's exactly the same as a westy. So spaniel. Uh, the only thing again uh, with a westy, you, with you don't you don't have um, you don't have the chest. But with the, um, with the Spaniel, you have the chest. That's the thing, the difference between this style and the other style. Right, so if I have to do the European style, this is where I'm still learning. Buna Dani, te poop. This is the, the hardest way for me because I'm still learning. Can you hold his head straight, please? You can still come here, right? So basically, what they do, you go from the back of the legs into the tuck up, and then back round into the skirt, and then up into the into the chest. So normally, I'm trying to do at the moment because I'm not confident 100%. So I'm doing with the thin scissor. So lift the leg, and then into the tuck up. So the tuck up is right here, yeah? So I'm trying to create that round. It's good if you have like a, maybe a curved chunker. The style I really like, it's uh, Sara Odette uh, from Italy. She's in the groom team Italy. So her spaniels, if you go and look, her spaniels are really, really beautiful. And also, it's uh, um, Irina from, from Portugal. She's a Tero creative team. Again, she has that beautiful flair. Because she uses one of my dogs, and I fall in love with the style. So I'm trying to create this roundness here. And I go into the front skirt. Like, uh, like uh, what's his name, um, my judge, uh, Victor Rosado said, you should see light when you put a spaniel on the table, you should, you should see light under the, under the dog, yeah? That's a good way. Pardon? That's a nice way. Yeah, yeah. So to the mirror guys, just so I can have the, the shape that I want. This is like an idea, yeah? 
So this is what they actually. I'm still learning with a skirt, yeah, because I, I used to used to be used to with a with a straight line from from the from the hook would be a straight line and a skirt. So I'm trying to achieve the new style. So I'm like I said, but this is the idea. You see, you lift the skirt round into the tuck up and then down and back in into the into the chest, yeah. I need this higher, please. Ten blades. Yeah. I give away already like uh, two or three. To three until I, oh, oh, you had my uh, ten blades. I, I have just one. I give the uh, whole shape of dogs yesterday. Uh, plate. I give them two blades. That's a nice shape. Yeah. So here, sorry. Here, it fits too thick. When you go, when you look from the up top, you have to have a straight line. So if it's too thick here, just lift it up and just take from the thickness. This needs to go really flat. Da, 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 to far bigger. On here, on the back of the leg, once you create your shape, and you have this hair lift here. You have to do like in a V shape, so it doesn't need to be really, really long. So I normally I see where's the hook, and then I will do a, a V shape. Because you don't want this needs to be really, really down inside of the leg. And I do a V shape. So where's the hook? Yeah, that's where your V starts. I prefer to use thinning scissors on, especially on these legs, just because it's more forgiven. That's what I use. Pardon? That's what I use. Yeah, it's more forgiven. Mm. Yeah, so you see a nice, tight. Blends in, doesn't it? Yeah, it does blend in way better. And just to tidy and give it some some uh, um, um, sharp name, you can use your curve or your straight. But you can see how this is no hair here, yeah? So this will give you angulation and here is really straight and padded. Uh, no hair on the front of the bum. Where's the rosette? The hair half exposed and then half comes with the hair that goes inside of the, outside of the leg, yeah? And inside all this hair, from the, where's the... Um, this is how I do it. Where's the, the hook? I start my V on both sides, yeah? Pa -pa -pam. And this is it, guys. I will blend more if I only have a nice spaniel curl on my books. Either. Oh, bless. Yeah, I'm likely with Pauline because that's her dog. And I know I have my own dog. Uh, so it's easier. But also, if you want actually to learn on spaniels, why you don't speak? <laughs> bless. Yeah, this is Pauline. This is the one of this beautiful dog. Uh, if you want to learn, go to a breeder, a spaniel breeder. So look, I will groom your dog for free. Can I just learn, you know? And this is how we can work, you know? There are so many breeders that have so many spaniels that are like really shaggy. And if you say, look, I will groom your dog for free all the time. Just let me practice and I might use it for, uh, for grooming competition, you know? I bet 100% they will let you to do that for free. 100%. Hi, Vicky. I'm talking with Vicky. I'm talking with you now, darling. Um, yeah. So... Also, advertise on, on, on uh, 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 Spaniels uh, groups, you know, you know, they you have um, Spaniel Mania, Mania, or what bloody, or Cocker Spaniel, um, um, Cocker Spaniel uh, groups, you know, and say, look, I'm a groomer, I'm searching for a dog, I would like to, to uh, you come and say, I will charge you half price, not for free, 
uh, but come and I will to train on your dog, you know, when you use it for competition, I will look, if I, use it, if I want to use it for competition, it will be free of charge. When in the salon, I will charge you like half a price, you know, or I will charge you this time, no, let's say half a price, you know, and for maintenance will be for free, you know, because you know, no one wash the dogs. So that's a good idea. This, this is what I'm thinking. If I don't have a dog, this is what I will do. I will speak with a breeder. Like if I, but now luckily I have all the, all the breeds that I want for my competitions. But if I will have a Spaniel or Kerry Blue or something like that, I will speak with the breeder. And I'm telling you, they will definitely say, of course, if it's for free. Who doesn't like free stuff? Huh? Especially when you groom a dog for free. Yeah? Sorry, my friend. Uh, right, so I'm going to do the other half of this, of the, of this beautiful boy. Uh, I hope you enjoyed my, uh, my video, guys. It was lovely to see you back. Uh, back from Spain. Um, next week I will do one of my foxes. I think will be more like a tidy, and I will show you. To, I think I forgot his name already. Bloody hell, um, Harvey. Oh, okay. Harvey, yeah, because uh, he he's a fox terrier person. So I will show you the fox terrier. And if you have other age on fusion or anything that you want to learn, just give me a shout. Um, I will be in Wales. How do you say? Wales. Wales, Wales. I'll be in Wales, Wales on the 5th of, of December for Christmas party and uh, we'll have stands over there so I know uh, Colin will be there, Arthur will be there and some uh, uh, Georgia Fuller will be with Asian Fusion, uh, 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 nice stuff will be there um, and yeah so I'm going back to work. Kisses, lovely to see all of you, have a lovely day and we'll see you for the next live. Te po pana ma, te po di ubita ma. Bye guys. Bye. Bye.